everyone and welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here and welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be riffing and sharing a few of my thoughts on the future of productivity apps. You guys know this channel by now, hopefully, uh, and you understand that I check out a lot of productivity apps, like a fair amount of them. And uh, of course, I, I want to share some of my opinions on where I think it's software in this space is going um, and how I think it's gonna pan out. So today's video is gonna be dedicated to that one. Uh, I'm gonna include timestamps as well, so you can go and skip to the different sections that might take your fancy, uh, because this one might be me rifting off and going on a random tangent. Anyway guys, so the first thing I wanna mention uh, is this whole focus on an all-in-one productivity app. I do think that's going to be the future. I think, of course, we're going to have this one application that does tend to fit to all our needs. And I think that's going to be about 10 years away. <laughs> um, it's been talked about quite a lot, especially with such a growth in uh, applications recently. And of course, it's going to take time to do. Now, I think I did a full Medium article on this one, so you could probably check out my musings. I think they're the same as what they were before, but I'll include them in the description below so you can guys go away and fully read about that. But it does lead me on to a real topic that is quite hot at the moment, and that's flexible slash modular productivity apps. Now, this is a huge space. I wrote a piece on this a couple of weeks ago. I think it's going to be 2018 and 2019's biggest growth. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of new productivity applications come out of it. But this idea of uh, modular uh, software is so that you can build your own software. So you guys have seen my sort of Notion setup. Uh, if you haven't, I'll include it up in the cards. But you guys know that from seeing that Notion setup that there's little micro elements of a productivity application that you can create. So in my area, I've created my own dashboard, which is pretty much a modular setup, right? That's basically going to be a lot of focus towards uh, people's experiences. Uh, we've seen it recently, the last week with Evernote Spaces. Evernote are creating a dashboard inside of your Evernote experience. They're gonna roll it out to personal too. But this idea that you can create your own experience uh, and software, which is pretty amazing. Now Airtable, which is a project management application, has just come out with pretty much this. Um, it's almost like a, a Gantt chart or Excel, like the whole project management experience to some extent, like monday.com, but it is a flexible experience. So you can actually go around, play around with it, set up whatever area and field you've done. Now I've talked about this a little bit before uh, in, in the terms of multiple view options. Like for example, Zenkit is one of those resources that allows you to plot uh, different modules uh, and create your own fields and create that. And I do think it's a massive play. I think that all of the applications will soon move to this layout, uh, allowing you to take the reins and move wherever you like. Now I do think that we're on the cusp of this, so we're probably gonna see this over the next year, uh, but do keep an eye on it because this is probably how things are going. And the reason, you're probably wondering, how has it come to this? How has it come to modular productivity software? Um, and the reason behind it is because there was like, I guess this five to 10 year block of time, uh, just from my you know, view, that when productivity apps came out, people started to get them. Uh, like within five years, uh, pretty much everyone knows about them. Whether they use them or not, it doesn't really matter. Like you could use paper or whatever, but they know the way that it's done. Like for example, let's say tomorrow a to-do's application comes out. You're gonna get used to it in the first 20 minutes, let's say. Uh, of course, you can go and learn more about workflows, but of course, you're gonna know how to use it. And that's pretty much why the modular technology is coming out now for software. It's because people know how to use them. We've gotten so equipped with knowledge about those tools that the modular software is coming in and going, okay, cool, you guys can go and create your own base because you know what you're doing. So basically that is why it's here now. Over the last five, 10 years, we've just gotten used to productivity apps. So I think it's gonna be a massive hit over the next couple of months. On that sort of topic, I do think that niche productivity applications are still going to fill the space. Now you've seen me talk about a lot of different to-do list applications, uh, note takers, calendar apps, time trackers, resources like that, and there are so many. But I do think there's a space for a lot of the resources that I talk about and that other people check out. And I do think it's because we're getting more and more specific with our needs 
and we're also getting more and more specific on our scenarios and situations. So for example, let's say, uh, let, for, for example myself, uh, I've been using Todoist for like, mm, six, seven, I don't know, six years roundabout. I think I started it just before I joined university. And of course my times have changed now. I've moved and grown into the freelancing space and my, my experiences will change in the future. Let's say I'm having kids in the future um, and that's actually quite uh, an important change to my routine. So I might be then looking at something like Picnic or Cozy, which are family organizers. So, you know, there's that knowledge that there are niche applications that can map to your scenarios in the future. Maybe it wouldn't stop me using the big ones like Todoist or Thingy for work, but it would help me in a different aspect of life. So I do think there's room for these niche applications. I do think there's a lot of them and you have to sift through a fair amount of them. But then again, you're trying to fix a problem in your daily routine to some extent. You're trying to fix a, uh, you know, organization problem or you trying to do more in your day. So I definitely think there's space for them. Although I do think uh, it's going to be refined a lot more. The next topic I want to talk about is premium. Now, we have seen a big trend in the last couple of months on premium. I did a full article on this one again, sorry, um, about uh, premium and sort of subscription-based applications. And I do think it's going to be the future of this space. Now, we were previously sort of greeted with productivity applications being one-off payments, uh, you know, downloadable software that we go and pretty much just use. But now these applications actually do need to make money and to grow and to expand. Um, and of course that comes with um, a responsibility, a responsibility of making revenue from us, the users, to then move and grow their applications. So it's important that the subscriptions are out there. Of course they're, you know, you can't go mental as a developer, you know, charging hideous amounts, but and enough to sort of support the growth and future of the network is very, very important. So I do think that uh, more applications are going to be charging subscription fees. And we're also going to see, I think, in the future, just to expand revenue for companies. Of course, they'll hit a certain subscriber amount. Uh, but of course, that's that's good. That's positive. But actually getting more out of the user. Um, and of course, this might sound a bit markety or something, but I'm just making you aware, um, if this comes out, of course, <laughs> that the productivity apps will then look to go a bit further with you. So they will maybe add an additional feature that isn't included in premium that you'll have to buy outright or something like that. So they're going to work out ways to grow you as a user and sort of tie you into the network a little more. And I do think this will be part and parcel of the modular technology. So for example, when the modular software comes in, uh, of course, subscription fees will be a bit pressured because there's going to be more and more resources and flexibility in this putting more strain on like uh, the whole network, like having your own setup, making sure it's stored, making sure it's safe, making sure it's backed up right. Um, and of course the additional integrations that come with it. So I do think that there will be a sort of blend between uh, like modular software subscriptions with modular integrations and actually there being fees involved there. So I just, think that's going to be where it's going. Um, I do think as users, we need to be pretty comfortable with the subscription model and how it works and sort of, I guess, put the one off payment thing in the past for us. That's just my opinion. Anyway, guys, um, <laughs> uh, that was my few thoughts on uh, pr pr personal productivity applications uh, for the future. Uh, I, I think a lot of it evolves around um, sort of growing to the user's needs. So I think it's going to change over time, of course, um, but hopefully that gives you a good indication to where I think it's going in the next year or year and a half. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments whether you want this one every three to six months, because I know that was a bit intense, but maybe it's actually beneficial for you, especially maybe as a project manager at work who is looking for the next resources to invest in or whether you're just looking for yourself uh, and keeping an eye out on what's hot and what will be hot. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know with a like if you enjoyed it too, um, and not a thumbs up if you didn't. My voice is going. <coughs> 
Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.